All right, so let me see. Uh, the next thing that I wanted to ask you, you know, um, as far as like which projects are you the most proud of now that you have been going to school? Have you worked on anything? You'd be like, yo, I built this. This shit is hot. This is cool. Like compared to how I was a year ago or f three years ago, et cetera. Like, is there a project that you're like super hyped about now that from the knowledge that you've gotten in school? I mean, I, well, the projects I've built aren't built off knowledge I've learned in school. They're just built off knowledge I've learned in my free time. Mm -hmm. Because school, like I said, it's not teaching how to like develop things per se. Mm -hmm. It's the teaching the theory behind it. I feel like I make so many projects that I, I just move on from them pretty fast at this point. Like even my YouTube channel right now, it's it's every video that I'm making right now is a new project. Like my last video, I made a game. The game before that, I made this AI that interrupts you. But I think the project that I'm most proud of, or at least the project that I spent the most time into, was I made this one website. It's roadtesthawaii.com so like i said i'm from hawaii and the the problem with so people in hawaii need to get a driver's license right so you need to make a road test appointment mm -hmm. and the problem is it's always booked for the next three months so if you want to take a road test uh you need to wait three months which is kind of ridiculous mm -hmm. but i noticed that within that when a you can get a spot within the week because people drop, mm -hmm. but it's hard to know when someone's going to drop. Right. And then someone else can take it before you. So mm -hmm. what are you going to do? Constantly refresh the page to mm -hmm. see if people drop. No, that's a waste of your time. So mm -hmm. I made this little website that if you sign up for my service, it will send you a text message as soon as someone drops a spot. And okay. I think I was pretty proud of that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah <laughs> and yeah. yeah. No, that's hot. That's, that's something that, I always tell like my students, I have my website, codingface.com, where I teach people, you know, uh, everything that has to do with web development and the things that they need to get a job. And one problem that I see from people is always they're like, man, I don't know what projects I should build. I don't know what should I do to maybe get higher or, or like, how do I become I a professional? Yeah. How do I become a professional and this, this and that? And it's like, look around you, like find a problem and solve that problem with the skills that you already have. Like you don't have to be an expert. There's so many things that you can create with just the basics and not even having to be like a genius. It's just look at the problem, how you can solve it. Like that's a perfect example. You know, that's something that people can actually use. And when you go into a company and that, you know, they interview you and be like, Hey man, I build a website that's able to keep track of the, you know, the students that are going to take uh road tests, et cetera. And, you know, and they get notifications, they're going to look back and be like, okay, cool. That's solving a problem. We like that. And, you know, you're using the web technologies. So it's something that is legit, you know? So that's a pretty cool project, man. That will no, what be you just too. said about the, you know, what you just said about the, you know, like so many people ask, you know, what project should I, it's, it's such an annoying comment. And I made a, I made a new video where I addressed that. Well, for a brief second, I was like, just look around you. What problem do you have? And how can you use code to solve it? But I'm, I'm going to scrap the video because I just realized what I made in that video was extremely legal. So <laughs> I can't even post the video. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's crazy, man. Sometimes you got you to gotta look into those things, man. Uh, it's funny. It's talking about something similar to that. It's awesome. <laughs> I made something amazing, but it's, it's not legal to use it. So yeah. I, I'm not going to post the video. <laughs> Yeah, no, definitely. You got to be careful with that. Um, so let's see, man. Now, that's a cool project, man. So you actually built something with with the web. I mean, you know, that's almost it's funny that you talked about that, because then now that that goes right into the, the next question that I was going to ask you, like, hey, what branch of development are you planning to focus on after college? I mean, it seems like you've dabbled in, in all of the different things that you can do from gaming to web to software to even sort of like the engineering side of like technical fucking Arduinos and, and freaking <laughs> little gadgets and shit like that. So, I mean. How is it, you know, what's the next step for, you know, Tran Black? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I have absolutely no idea. If, if you asked me, I think, 11 months ago, I think I'd have an answer. 11 months ago, I would have said I wanted to be a back-end engineer because at that time, I was doing a lot of, I was doing, a, I was like working with REST APIs and I was learning Django and 
I really didn't like front end at mm-hmm. all. I liked back end a lot more. Mm-hmm. But since then, I've explored so many new things. Like at that point, I never even tried making games. I've never done anything with hardware like Arduino's. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, now that that time has passed, and I've I've just been doing so many things, and it's honestly all pretty fun. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I don't think I would professionally do game development. I heard it's very overworked and underpaid. Mm-hmm. Um, so if I do get, if I do end up getting a a, a job like a, in the traditional sense, then I probably will do back end dev. But I'm not sure if at this point I even want a job in the traditional mm-hmm. sense. I think I could probably build a decent career for myself online, and if I can do that, I'll definitely choose that route instead. Yeah. No, that's hot, man. Definitely. So, I mean, is there like any companies that you might be interested on or like that you might be looking at and you're like, this is where I want to go. It's like when I graduate, I need to have my Google acceptance letter already there. <laughs> you know how some people create some expectations for themselves. Yeah. And <laughs> no, yeah. Well, I want I wanted to get into Google. So much has changed in the past few months. Mm-hmm. Like oh, I say, like again, like ten months ago, I was pretty obsessed with the prestigious uh, companies and the internships, mm-hmm. and I really wanted to get into Google or Facebook. I interviewed with a few companies, but I'll talk about my internships a little later. But mm-hmm. my here's my goal. My goal was to work at Google to quit Google. Yeah, <laughs> because I wanted to have the ex Google brand. Not that Ash. I was gonna use it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not that I was gonna use it, but it's just once you have it, you can keep that with you for the rest of your life. You know, mm-hmm. like for the rest of your life, you can say I worked at Google as a software engineer. It's like saying that you went to Stanford. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a little less than that, but I think it's up there. So I, I wanted that, but at this point, I don't really care anymore. Yeah. Yeah. No. Definitely. Yeah. I think. I think there's a lot of. You know, there's a lot of avenues that people can can take different pathways. You know. And, and I always tell people, like, you can always go to uh, those companies. You know, sometimes you you want to focus more on what makes you happy and something that challenges you. I've seen uh, friends of mine who they went directly straight from college and, and they got accepted to, like, the major companies. And then, you know, I have, like, one of my best friends who started working at, at Amazon. And then he's, like, he quit, like, three months later. He's, like this is not really what I want to do. And I kind of like more the fast paced of a startup and like creating new projects and and having more control of the projects. Cause in reality it's like all of that, if you're working at those big companies, all of that shit gets trickled down from the top. It's like, okay, this is what they're going to be working at the bottom. You get what I'm saying? So it's not really like you have super control of everything. Somebody has already made the decisions. So he was like, man, I want to just be working on this new technologies or this new frameworks or this, this, and that. And they want me to work on something that's old and this is not what I want to be doing. So sometimes, you know, it, it's something that, you know, you figure it out as you go, you know? So you, you think like, this is what I want. And then when you get there, you're like, ah, do I really want it? Eh, you know, I'm interested in something else, you know? 